We watched the live stream of the trial from the newsroom today, and something Amani's grandmother said on the stand kept coming back to me. She mentioned that this week, Amani would have turned 16. We came to know Amani's name when we learned about a 10-year-old who weighed what a 3-year-old typically does. All of this time has passed years now pursuing justice for a child who should be getting ready for the end of a high school year and getting her driver's license. Latonia Hines is a prosecutor, and I'm so interested in your perspective. She did not ask a single question to a witness today. There was no opening statement. What do you make of it? Well, it's very interesting because for a, a case, usually the juror is, jury is listening for that opening statement. They wanted to hear from her. They had the opportunity, which is very rare, to actually hear from the accused. But they didn't hear from her. And I think it's going to be strange to them. They're going to wonder why. Um, and they may even think about the fact that maybe there's something wrong with her, right? Maybe why would you do this? Um, but it's not uncommon for that to happen when you have somebody who's representing themselves because they may not know the best trial strategy. I've heard people say it's unconscionable that she's even allowed to represent herself. It is an absolute constitutional right here in the United States for you to represent yourself. If you want to have an attorney, you have a constitutional right to that as well. The judge is being very careful in this case as well. He's got attorneys there to assist her if, they, if she likes, but ultimately, even if she was represented by an attorney, she has the right to decide how that case goes, uh, whether or not she testifies or not, and she's made the decision that she's going to represent herself. We'll see if she wages any defense. Correct. And that's going to be very interesting as well. If, if we never hear from her whatsoever, it could either be a, one of the most clever type of defenses or it could be one of the most confounding things to the jury, wondering why on earth are you doing this, especially when we have all of this evidence of such a horrific death for this child. Latonia, thanks for the perspective. Appreciate it. We have someone in the courtroom every single day of this trial. You can watch the live stream on 11alive.com.